Let me guess, you're still struggling with your golf swing. The reality is the reason most golfers struggle is because they don't really understand what the golf swing really is. That's because there's more than one way to do it. There are three basic patterns to the golf swing, and you don't, if you don't understand what these are, you're probably watching stuff online and mixing one thing from the other and still not realizing why you're getting such bad results. You can't mix a lot of these things together. So you first need to understand what are the three basic release patterns? What are the three basic golf swings? The first one, the lead side dominant has been taught forever. It's a classical, traditional golf swing where the right side is really kind of chilled out. This is what you hear Ben Hogan talking about in his book until he gets down to impact where he talks about three right hands or Bobby Jones. They've all talked about using this lead side of the body, lead arm to release the club, and it's a wonderful, effortless way to swing the golf club. The catch is that you've got to train this lead hand, and most golfers are very right hand dominant if you're a right-handed golfer. The second way to swing the golf club, if you're familiar with the golfing machine and Homer Kelly's work on the hitter pattern, which is more of a right side dominant pattern, that can be right arm, that can be right shoulder, that can be right hand. There's a lot of variations to it, but when you start combining swinging and hitting, those two things oftentimes contradict each other and lead to all sorts of problems. Now the third way is probably the least understood, least discussed, but I think is actually the best way for the average golfer to swing the club and be able to get to a scratch level player or better. The reason is, is it leverages the one thing that you want to do already, which is to throw with your right hand. And all you have to understand is how to put this component together. And what's really interesting about it is that the two greatest golfers in my mind of all time, Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods, I believe that they were both throwers of the club head. And what's really interesting is that the golfers out there trying to kind of mimic things they see in Tiger's swing, Tiger never worked on those things. He didn't have to work on the Tiger squat or getting his hip line back or maintaining his posture or getting a flat left wrist at impact or swinging down on plane. That's because those are all natural byproducts of throwing the club head correctly. Now, of course, if you throw it incorrectly, you're still gonna have all the same problems, but throwing it correctly is super, super easy. It's really coming down to just understanding how to use your right hand to add speed and use your body to support that. When you throw correctly, it will literally be impossible to swing over the top. It'll be impossible to not even swing on plane you will instantly start to understand how your body's supposed to work in this pattern, which is way less complicated than shifting, pivoting, and turning your body. In fact, your body has to stop turning in a throwing pattern. But I'll explain all that in the drill. I've created a drill because I had somebody in a comment earlier say, nobody's, this throwing motion is so true. You can see it in the greats, but nobody's ever explained this throwing motion really well. That's what I've done in this video. It's my interpretation of what I used in my own swing to be able to shoot in the 60s, to be a plus handicap golfer, and to feel a trail hand throwing motion that has allowed me to swing, you know, hit it well over 300 yards, swing 120 plus miles an hour, but with no effort and no strain on my body. So if you want to feel a throwing motion with your trail hand, your dominant hand, then take a look at this description down below because I've also put in, a, in the website my hack motion data. If you haven't used the hack motion yet, you're crazy. You're missing out on so much understanding what your hands and what the hands of the greats, what great ball strikers are doing in the swing. I've included my hack motion data from the tournament I just played in this weekend where I shot well under par using this exact same pattern. So in this drill, I'm gonna show you exactly how to learn this proper feeling of a throwing motion to instantly get the club on plane, never ever swing over the top again, shallow out your angle of attack and get your body to provide stability instead of trying to rip your body through creating power. So what you have here is an actual real formula, a drill that's gonna show you exactly how to release the club, like the greats in my opinion, exactly how Tiger is swinging the golf club and the actual data from my hands showing you exactly what they should be doing. And if you put those two things together, you are going to have the formula to be able to play plus handicap golf, scratch golf, or better just by understanding how to use your dominant hand. So click the link down in the description if you wanna explore how I believe the greats, and especially Tiger, threw that club with his right hand.